Have you ever plugged your RV into your inverter generator and then had your EMS surge protector give you a ground fault? I've had the same issue and it's pretty frustrating, but in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix that and a little bit about why it's happening. So for our EMS surge protector, we use the Hughes Autoformers Power Watchdog and we absolutely love this thing. It has saved us uh, at campgrounds. It saved us during storms. This thing's awesome. The issue I was having is when I plug my inverter generator into this and then into the RV, a little dog face was turning red and I got the ground fault number. Um, so basically it was telling me that my system was not grounded. In an RV, your neutral and your ground are never bonded. You get that bonding at the campground pedestal. And with inverter generators like this one, you don't have a bonded neutral and ground. These generators have what's called a floating neutral. So enter this cool little device. This is a ground neutral bonding plug. Basically all this thing does is you plug it into your generator, it bonds your neutral and your ground, which will allow you to use your EMS. You can buy these cool little plugs for like 15, 20 bucks, or if you want to, you can hang around with me and I'll show you how to make them really cheap. I'll also show you how to build a 30 amp version. So in case you want to run 15 amps out of your generator, you don't have a plug plugged into that socket and you can use the neutral ground bonding plug in your 30 amp socket. All right guys, so I'm gonna try and make this as simple as possible. Making one of these plugs is not tough at all. And I mean, you can spend the 15, 20 bucks and buy a store-bought one and be done with it. Or you can make one for as little as five or six bucks. So I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. So first I'll start by disassembling this current plug, just so y'all can see what's on the inside. So all you need is a Phillips head screwdriver. And you unscrew these two screws here to reveal the guts. And that's all it is. It's just a very simple bonded neutral and ground. So let's reassemble this and let's get to building our own. All you need to build one of these is a 15 or 20 amp plug, just like this one. Um, they're used to repair extension cords, that kind of thing. Uh, you can buy them at Home Depot or Lowe's for five or six bucks, or I'll link one from Amazon down in the description so y'all can buy it online if you prefer. And then you'll need just a scrap little piece of wire, 12 or 14 gauge will work just fine. So the first thing you do is you disassemble your plug. You insert your scrap piece of wire that has already been stripped into the ground crimp and you tighten it down nice and snug and you'll fold it over and put it in your neutral slot and Screw it down nice and tight. Then all you have to do after that is reassemble it. And for the 30 amp, the process is exactly the same. Although the plugs might look a little bit different or a lot different, they're a little bigger, the prongs look a little different. The process is identical. You take your 12 to 14 gauge wire and you put it in the holes that say green and white, ground and neutral. Screw it down, reassemble it, and you're good to go. And on the back here, you've got this little clamp that would be used to hold a wire in if you were doing a, a cord repair, that kind of thing. Uh, you can just tighten those down. Uh, one thing I would recommend is putting some electrical tape or some sort of block to prevent anything from getting into that hole there. Just a safety thing. All right, now we've got both of our bonded plugs. Let's go check them out and see if they work. All right, so it's probably gonna get a little loud here, but first I'm gonna show you how the 15 amp works and then the 30 amp. Sorry if the noise is unbearable. So as you can see, we're 
head, we've got our ground faults. Now let's try our plug. Look at that. We're working just fine. Now we're going to try out our 30 amp plug. Gotta juggle all the adapters here. All right. Look at that. Good to go. I take the plug out and we go red. So this was a video just to show you all uh, how to solve a very common issue with these inverter generators. Uh, it's making sure that you've got that, that ground and neutral bonded. You can buy a $15, $20 plug like this and it'll be fancy. It'll have the Hughes Power Watchdog logo on it and whatnot. I mean, it's great. I, I love their products, but I just think in the spirit of saving money, it's easy to build one here for three to five bucks, five or six bucks, whatever it is. And then these are a little bit more expensive. These will probably run you about 20 bucks, 25 bucks. Um, and I haven't seen any factory made 30 amp versions, but I think that there's definitely a market for it because this allows you to use your 15, 20 amp plugs, um, both of them if you'd like to. Um, and if, if you have one of these plugged into one of them, then uh, you, you only have one of those plugs available, or if you have an inverter generator with only one plug available, uh, 130 amp and 115 amp or 20 amp, um, having, having one of these could definitely help you out. So I, I would say it's probably worth the investment. I uh, hope you all enjoyed this video. Sorry about the, the wind noise if there was some. I hope it was informative. If there's anything you have a question about, please reach out. I'd be happy to help as much as I can. Have a good one. See you next time.